Andre, A-N-D-R-E, at premedproductivity.com. Send me an email. Hit me up on social media. Ask me questions. Tell me things you want to talk about, and we can talk about them. I'm here with you guys. You know, I, I, I know this stuff. I'm trying to help you guys. So please ask your questions. Submit things all the time. Uh, this question, uh, how do medical schools view minors? I want to study biology. However, I feel like thousands and thousands of applicants are biology majors. So this is an excellent uh, question, and I was actually just working on something last night, um, putting together a, a program about majors, because I think it's a, give me one second. I think it's a, a question a lot of people ask, and let's see if we can back this up. It really, the only problem I have with is I can't shoot like the normal way with the camera wide, so it makes it kind of limited, but okay. We all do that? Okay. So, essentially, four or five big buckets. You have to pick a major when you enter college. It cannot be pre-med. Pre-med is not a real major. You need to pick a major. Pre-med is your intention to go to medical school. But you can major, okay? and that means you have to take a bunch of classes for that degree. A minor means you can take fewer classes, but they noted on your degree that you also minor in something. In my case, my major was biochemistry and molecular biology. I also had a minor in business management. I would have had a major, but they didn't offer it at my school. But I took enough classes to have a double major. But you take a whole bunch of classes and a couple classes to get a minor. The other option is to do a double major, which I mentioned I had the classes to do, but it's a lot more classes, a lot more effort, so it might not be worth the trouble. So we'll address that first. Well, let's take a step back. We'll do majors first. <laughs> so picking a major, the two major categories are science and non-science. Picking a science major versus picking a non-science major, people make a big deal out of it. It makes no difference. The only difference it makes is in the effort you have to put in. So as a science major, many of the sciences have all the pre-med requisites, the pre-med, uh, sorry, the medical school prerequisites built in. So your biology, your chemistry, your chem, your physics, your math, all those things are built in to the science majors. So if you're a science major, it makes it really easy. It just streamlines the process and you don't have to take a bunch of extra classes. So that's why it's nice to be a science major. But you can be a non-science major, however, you'll have to take the extra classes that aren't included in your major. So if it's a non-science uh, major, you're going to have to take the biology, the chemistry, and the physics, all that stuff anyway. So sometimes it's just a much shorter route to do science. But if you're passionate about something else, um, I was talking with a high school student a couple weeks ago, and she was asking me about economics and business. And I said, oh my gosh, like my minor is in business management. I would always tell people, my favorite major, if you guys want to hear it, my favorite major that I always recommend to people is actually engineering. And I say that for a couple of reasons. One, engineering makes you smart. Engineers know how to do stuff. I actually saw this, <laughs> I saw this meme, I'll share it on my Facebook page, but I found this, this article and it said 30 crazy uh, jerry-rigged uh, packs that engineers created. And it was all this ridiculous stuff and you're like, who would think of that other than engineer? That is ingenious. These simple problems that they found complex ways to solve. But engineering is great because it, A, teaches you how to do things like real skills. It teaches you how to critical think and problem solve, which is very important in medicine because there's always, it's always, okay, what does the patient have? What am I thinking? How do I treat it? You always have to kind of work your way through these things. So if you can critical think, engineering is great. The other nice thing about engineering that I think is better than biology is that the undergraduate bachelor degree is actually worth something. If you are a biology major and you do not go to medical school or graduate school, your degree is worth Zero. It's worth nothing. No one hires a biology degree to do anything. You are unemployable. So you have to go on to graduate school. But if you're an engineering major and you get to the end of undergrad and you say, you know what, I don't want to do medical school anymore, you've still got a great degree that you can go get a high paying job in and everyone will want you. You'll be highly employable, highly competitive. So that's why I always recommend engineering. But another great major is business or economics because if you understand how money works and how people think, some will hire you to do something. You're a very versatile degree, and I think it's really enjoyable to learn about. I read about business all the time, I love it. Uh, so those are the things, but okay, so, so science versus non-science doesn't really matter. Uh, minor versus double major, like I said, minor requires fewer classes, so it's easier to do, so sometimes we'll do that. 
I think people who say, I want to double, I want a triple major, it really doesn't make a difference on your application. If you're a triple major or a double major, medical schools aren't going to be like, oh my gosh, this person double majored. It's only impressive if your GPA supports it. So if you have a 3.8 GPA and you double majored, that's impressive. But someone who has a single major and a 3.8 will be looked at the exact same. You're not all of a sudden going to be in this whole new uh, boat as a double major. Especially one of the big mistakes that a lot of students make, they double major in two very similar um, uh, fields of study. And a lot of schools actually won't let you do this anymore, but there's still schools who allow you to do it. And it's a big mistake. People will major in biochemistry with a minor or with a major in chemistry as well, or a major in biology and a major in chemistry. And there's so much overlap in that that it doesn't really add diversity um, to your application, which is a major criteria that they're going to assess you on. So instead, if you were to double major in, say, business and biology, or if you were to do um, bioengineering and some other non science, or biology and engineering, Right? Those are different enough. That's why you would do a double major or a major and a minor. But it really doesn't matter. Pick something that you're passionate about, something that you'll enjoy, something that you'll put the time in to get the grade you need to get to medical school. That's the important thing. Put in the time in so you can get to medical school. So that's majors in a nutshell. Does that answer your question? Tell a friend. Tell them. Say, listen, there's this guy. He's amazing. He will help be more productive in all facets of your life, including pre-med. You need to like his Facebook page, The Pre-Med Productivity Expert. You need to do that. You need to subscribe to his YouTube channel, The Pre-Med Productivity Expert. Get on there. There's tons of videos. And guys, there's going to be so many more of these live feeds, so many more videos. If you are not subscribed and to my YouTube, you are doing yourself a disservice, right? You are feeling yourself because I'm going to be coming out with content daily, daily. Last night... Just while on shift, I filmed about 15 different YouTube videos. We're going to be coming out with videos every single day. So I want you guys on these channels, soaking up this information. I want you telling your friends, get on these channels. Let's pull this up. Let's make education, college, let's make it easy for all students. I want everyone who's passionate to be able to be the best student they can be and reach their academic goals. So if you know someone who's trying to do, who's trying to do big things, send them my way. Have them on the feeds. Don't. Let your friends down, right? Bring that positive energy. Bring positive things to them. Bring me to them. So tell a friend, get on my social media, get on my YouTube, and just let me know, guys. Send comments. Let me know what you want me to talk about. Let me know what you enjoyed. Let other people know you enjoyed this so we can just grow this. And one student at a time, we're just going to increase the group, and we are going to be a mass force of highly proficient, highly productive people who are taking medical school by storm. So thank you very much.